What's up, hi family spirit? It's today coming at y'all another video. Now, uh, this is for anyone who has fall victim to any any book that is manipulating their understanding or outlook on life. This is for anybody who has been within their life and prosecuted against because of their perception of what their life is and their perception of what reality is. Now, I'm going to be talking about jail specifically and prison, imprisonment specifically because those are the people who are impacted the most in their mind spiritually because of the box they're put in and everything they have to deal with on a daily basis. Now, we're going to get into this. Now, now we all know in jail, when fights happen, it's mostly due to the ego within self. It's mostly due to security and comfort within self. People in, a lot of people in jail are living in a lowest root chakra, and that is security, that is strength, that it's those two put together. And it's a combination of that, which is off balance or overly balanced, that will show exactly who they are as a character within their ego. Now, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get straight into this because I wanna go ahead and start this shit. Like, for example, like, you know how they always say, they always say how, um, man, not even, they always say, this is how we already know. You know, they do everything from the bottom of what we eat, from the bottom of what we laugh at, from the bottom of what we see, from the bottom of what they program us with. All of this shit they do to us is to keep us trapped. You smart enough to know that. I, sh I, I really don't need to say this because I think you, I'm sure you already know this, you know what I'm saying? But from the bottom of what we eat, laugh at, see, and how we, the things that we fear, all of this shit is to keep us trapped. So you really think a place where they will steal our babies, take our organs, extract our melanin, everything they do to stay and maintain in the shape of me as a black man or she as a black woman, they, everything they do to maintain and keep the... The people from natural to this earth, from this world, everything they do to keep them out of this shit, you really think that they would give people, all people, the decency to understand the real reality of life? You really think they'd give people the decency to understand the real reality of what all of this shit is? Fuck no. Nigga, you are in prison. You, you are in chains. You are in a mental state, in a controlling state of a white man who is controlling you. This is not to shame anybody. This is just literally the judicial system. And this is how this shit works. You go outside, you get out, you gotta get out, you gotta get out of the sun because you're required to or you're gonna die. They put you in a prison that is cold as fuck. So you're gonna be out of your element and you being a warm blooded creature, you're not gonna be able to get enough your blood to a right level of warmth because of the, the fucking temperature within the building. They put you in a, a closed place off place. You can't even see the fucking sun and shit. Like, you can't even see nature. Like, they take you out of your element of what you've come from. You come from the land. You come from nature. You come from all of this shit. They take you out of that. They make you work. You get your ass beat in prison or you, you run shit in prison. Either way, you're working in your ego. You're not even really truly working on yourself as a person. And on top of that, you don't know when the fuck you're getting out. And on top of that, you following a book that you don't truly understand. Now, obviously, something's wrong as a whole. There's millions of religions out here. All right. What if I'm the one person to question, like, if there's so many religions, why should there even be one? And you shun me away. You, what's the word? You, you look at me less of a person because I say that. You try to take my reality and change that shit. Who are you to try to shape what I see in my reality? Who are you to try to tell me what my reality is and shun me from not knowing what you know of what reality is or not knowing of what you think you know reality is? Everything they do is literally to keep us under. 
They don't do anything beneficial. Even with these vegan foods and all these other shit, you got to see what's within it because you don't know who the, what company is making it. Certain companies are out here coming, doing this shit to kill your ass. Still, even if you think you're eating good, you're not fucking eating good. You got to look through the products. You got to look through these chemicals, all that shit. But I'm going to keep rolling with this shit. I just want to add that in there because it's, it's purposeful. But um, they, they put you in a place of imprisonment. They put you in a place in them of an imprisonment thought around people that are in prison for years. So they relate to a part of themselves that is not the right part of themselves because they are taken out of their element as people. Now, I want you to think about this because I'm going to say this shit again. Why would they, the people who run this world, put you in a place of a trapped mind? Of a, I put you in a place of imprisonment and still think it would be smart if they want to keep you trapped to give you a give you a book that's going to help you to the best part of you spiritually and that's going to help you prosper they're not they're not that fucking retarded like even though the bible is fucked up you still can find shit within it and you can still decode shit within it and find the secret secrets that are within it and be better off they don't, people don't tell you that either yeah, of course I don't fuck with the Bible because I don't fuck with these books. But that's but that's because I have an understanding where I don't even need that motherfucking book. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand enough to know that that book is not needed. I understand enough to know what's within it and what's a, what a part of that book that I can see through and understand what they're really trying to tell me. Because like that book itself is like a message of codes, like from the zodiac signs, from the stars, the constellations, from. The awakening within self, the killing your ego, to fighting your ego, to the third eye, the truth, all of that shit. That that is what the book is based off of. The book is an allegory to show you the truth, but they're not gonna tell you that. But we're not even gonna get it all in that right now. Even though this is British channel, we're not even about to get it all in that. It's just like to the fact. Even if you are a victim to that book, understand that. No one truly cares about you with enough to imprison you, rape your children. Kill you, extract your melanin, all do all this crazy ass shit to you as a black woman, a black man, any race of anything. Nobody's gonna do all this crazy ass shit to you and then give you a book that's gonna help you to be in your highest, most highest mind of consciousness and your most highest mind of spirituality. No one is, bro. It's basic, basic, it's really, in my eyes, it's basic common sense. If I was in prison right now to this day and I see myself in a box. And I didn't know nothing about none of this shit. I asked myself, why the fuck did they give me this book and never gave me the advantage to read any other books? Why was this the only book I got? Why even when I get books from my family, they try to look and filter out what the fuck I read? Why? And I know that's not that's not in most places. Uh, I'm not sure of because I'm not in jail. But you know what I'm saying? Like, why would they do that? Even with even with Christianity, you can figure out you can figure out who the he Hebrew Israelites is. You can figure out who the Jews was, who those black people were in that uh, amount of time. You can figure out the twelve zodiac. You can figure out the zodiac signs. You can figure out the ego and the third eye, the highest consciousness, the sun, the rock. You can figure out Osiris, the Pharaoh. You can feel like figure out all of this shit. You just gotta be smart enough to see what's within it. And that's all it is to it. But it's like, at the end of the day, they know of everything they've done to the people that we are not smart enough to pro progress in the way of understanding through the Bible and understanding past the Bible. They don't want you to. And that's another reason why people don't excel at it. They know that, they know that niggas are not going to, so they're not really trying to. And now... If, if you from my TikTok page or any other media platform, when I say they want to destroy the people that are natural to land, I say that because the people who are natural to land are the people who literally come from the source of this earth that does not defy you in any way. You're just lesser versions of us. You're, less, you're a person that is less of melanin and a lot of things. Like, your bone structure is different from us. It's like, there's so much different shit within this shit. And it's not to be racist or anything like that. It's just... We are the ones born first, so we are going to be the ones looked upon 
and able to damage the first. They, their their goal is to assassinate all of us. Point blank, period. Like they don't really care. Like their whole goal of this shit is to destroy the source of what this universe comes from on this planet and shit. But um, that's common sense too. You you can see it through. You can see it through media. You can see it through life. You can see it through anything. If you out in this world and you pay attention enough. But it's like. That's that's not it. That's not to be racist. It's just to tell you that like bro. If they get this out of the way. They understand that they're going to have full control of this world. Because you can't. You can't take the first people that's here. And think you're going to run a world. Without being able to control them. It's point bank. It's point blank, bro. But it's ready to say signing out, bro. And, uh, y'all stay to a higher state of vibration. Stay to a higher state of conscience. Question everything. And don't accept anything that's your reality. Don't don't accept anything in reality that doesn't coexist or resonate within, within you.